Hello everyone, this is Ethan Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. It's a few days after the release of Legendary Nana, and so of course we have to take on her Abyssal map with the meme team. So starting out here, we have a pretty standard set on Nino, Flashing Blade to spam out as many Dragon Fangs as we possibly need. For damage, Adult Tiki running a slightly different set than normal. The Steady Breath Quick Repost Bonfire set with Lightning Breath is kind of out of the ordinary, but not foreign to these clears. The main things are Drawback for certain positioning reasons and Drive Attack for reasons we'll quickly see in the clear. Then we have Legendary Azura, thanks to her remix, we don't need to run Speed Tactic in the Seal slot anymore to front load buff speed, so that opens us for options like Spur Attack 3, for reasons that we'll see in the clear, and Wings of Mercy, because as it turns out, it'll give us more mobility for this clear than Aerobatics will. And last but not least, we have Brave Veronica running a pretty usual set, just with instead attack speed push 4 and restore plus just because we got it recently on her so figured might as well run it on her for the heck of it so let's just get straight to the clear here against legendary nana and her buddies in terms of my thoughts on legendary nana herself definitely a strong offensive unit Land Sword combined with Clover Zeal, or however you pronounce her B skill, <laughs> just makes her a super anti meta. I see. Ant anti tank yes. meta on the melee spectrum, at least. I won't lose. Not of course, you can deal with far set units by initiating it to them because they're engineered. For ranged units, so of course she's going to have yes. a field day against them for the most part. But her main issues are just not having any way to deal with guard effects, other than running something like Heavy Blade herself. And of course she has no, she doesn't have a strong enemy phase, which for a nuke of her caliber, that's kind of fine. <laughs> that's a concession you have to make to keep units relatively balanced, Kappa. But thanks to drawback, instead of reposition on Adult Tiki, Nino is already in position to take out the Red Bell, which is great for us. But again, at the end of the day, Nana is going to age decently just because she's going to be able to check out damage one round of Gale units who are reliant on damage percent based damage reduction. I'm sure we'll see more shenanigans with flat damage reduction like on Spring Did Maria. Hopefully in relatively balanced measures compared to her because if you stack percent based damage reduction with a super high defense Spring Maria, she can tank quite a few Not things and she closer. also gets healing after combat. So just like Legendary Nana. The healing after combat's definitely nice, but again, her enemy phase is pretty eh. A lot of armors that would lose to her trying to hit and turn in her face has have a chance to beat her by player phasing into her because she doesn't have full no full no follow-up, jeez. But here we, this turn we pulled an AI manipulation thing by giving, yes. you know, the plus one movement from Grey Wave to two. And that in turn forced this blue cavalier to rally legendary Nana, inflicting guard on us from the ruse, which at first sounds bad until okay. it's actually part of our grand plan to not proc Dragon Fang onto the sword fighter. And so now we are in vantage range with Dragon Fang ready to go. Yes, I see. Thanks to Wings of Mercy or Aerobatics, it wouldn't matter there. We can dance Adult Tiki to barely pick up the kill on the Sword Fighter here, finish him off, and now we can just hit and turn with Brave Veronica. And thanks to the pre charged Dragon Fang, we can just simply vantage kill this Blue Cat without taking any damage. 
fantastic for later in the clear if we want to flex. Yes? Next we have the Lance Flyer getting taken out by Nino, pretty straightforward. And anyone who's been watching this channel long enough probably knows what's coming. Why there's drive attack on Adult Vicky. Why there's spur attack 3 on Legendary Azura. We're gonna go ahead here and beat out this Axe Cab with Adult Tiki. Easily going to wall and one round KO. Absolute overkill with Bonfire. I believe she's going to get an extra 30 points. 60 ish defense. And now here's the whole point of the Spur Attack and Drive Attack. We have a Raging Nana here, okay. <laughs> ready to go attack the units. Currently, as you can see, we can't play our Phaser. Yes. But what if we did? I'm with the you. thing you're not supposed to do. <laughs> this is another problem with Nana. Again, she has no damage reduction built into her kit. Did you call for me? So, yes? we can do silly things, like Vantage on her. And so... You can see she's doing quite a bit of damage to Nino, if only she could actually attack. <laughs> so, we just casually one-shot her into range. Now we're in business. Do my best. We'll go ahead and okay. dance here and pick up this one-round KO on the green mage. We're preserving that HP from earlier helps us out. Of course, we don't actually have to do it this way. It's just that we're flexing that we still have HP left. And we can just break these walls for the heck of it. Uh, there's variations of clear where we just leave all the walls unbroken. But you can see here it was important that we kept close guard to buff Adult Tiki against the... Axe, Axe Fighter, I believe it was, because we only survived by 8 HP there. Here we get the Dragon Fang up, so we can pick up the kill one shot on the Blue Flyer. And last but not least, we have the Thief coming. As you can see, the Thief doesn't actually have that much attack. 56 attack player phase, 67 against Adult Tiki. So we can actually, because of wind sweep, just casually yes. hit enter of for the fun of it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do it like this. So we're just flexing on the blue thief at this point. <laughs> and because Nino did something funny and Vantage killed legendary Nana yes. in one shot, we'll give her the final kill to end it all off. But Adult Tiki definitely put in a lot of work this clear as well. The duo still pulling off shenanigans just like they have been for the past few years. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!